In this video, I'm going to go over the array command. <clears throat> so the array command is here under modify, and the alias is AR. So when you do that, it brings up a dialog box. And there's a couple different ways to do an array. You can do it in a rectangular array. You can see on the preview. Then it gives you rows and columns, and it, that's what it asks you here. Or you can do polar arrays, or you can do a circle. So this first one, we're going to do a rectangular array. So how many rows do we want? How many columns? You can look at this preview to get kind of an idea of what's going on. So for here, let's say I want to have these circles spaced an inch apart. I'm going to have four going across and three going up. So in that case, I'd have three rows and four columns with a spacing of one inch. And I need to select my object first. There we go. If I preview it, oh, I didn't want four. I wanted five columns. Preview that. And now I can see that I've got it going in. It looks good. So I could hit enter to accept that. Or if I want to change it, I can hit escape and come back in. <clears throat> Let's say I change my mind and I really want only three columns spaced two inches apart. So I can go to three columns and for the column offset, I'll say two inches and preview that. You can see now the space between the columns is two inches. If I did an angle, let's say I did 30 degrees, you can see it kind of just rotates the whole thing up. So that's still measuring two, and that's still measuring one. But now it's at a 30 degree angle. But I don't want that. So I'll change that back to zero, preview it, and then enter to accept it. And that's the way I always like to do it. I always like to preview, and then enter to accept it. Now I want to do a polar array. I want to do an array in a circle. So I'm going to go back to array. I'm going to pick polar array. And I'm going to select my objects. So I want these objects here to go around. And I want to make a six spoke wheel. So I'm going to enter. Now my center point. So that's where it's going to revolve around. I'm going to pick the center of that there. And then I can look down here under my method and see how do I want to fill it in. Do I want to tell it the total number of items and the total angle all the way around, the total number of items and the angle between the items, the total angle and the angle between. So kind of depending on what I'm doing, I can pick either one. I'm going to use total number, number and angle because <clears throat> I want to go all the way around the circle. And I know how many I want is six. So I want to tell it I want six of them. 360 degrees, that's all the way around. And I'll preview it. So I can look at it, see, yes, that is what I want, and hit enter to accept it. 